Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. It's Tara Elizabeth and I'm here today to do a first impressions video of the Head Candy Loudmouth Curling Iron. I was actually gifted this um, as a graduation present from a friend a while ago and I know I've talked about it in other videos. I don't use heat all that frequently on my hair so this is the first time I'm getting around to using it so y'all will get to see like First impressions, what I think of everything. Um, I have another set of curling irons. Well, it's not curling iron. It's the Bellamy, I think it's six in one wand set that I use. So I've used those a few times and I've been dying to try this out. So that's what we're gonna do today. I just recently got a new blow dryer and I was going to use that on my hair, but I had a doctor's appointment this morning. So I just let, this is like completely air dried, nothing done to it. I I brushed it that's pretty much it I did right before we started because I wanted to let it go ahead and like dry and everything I put in heat protectant the one I used today was the Tresemme one um, I wouldn't say this is necessarily my favorite heat protectant but I am at my parents house and this is what my sister had here I'm thinking I don't know if it's by Revolution Professional or if Head Candy is the brand. I mean, I know Head Candy is the brand, but I'm not entirely sure. And I've looked at this, like I've opened it and everything. And I will say just for starters, something that I absolutely love about this is, well, one, the box is absolutely adorable, like so cute. But um, something about the curling iron in particular that I do really like, hold on, I'll pull it out and show y'all. So the, barrel on this wand is very very long and I do absolutely love that um I recently just got a haircut but you can see my hair is a little bit shorter than it used to be it used to be probably like two or three inches longer so for all of you who have long hair out there this is great it's something I always look for whenever I'm like helping friends figure out wands or curling tools just because like I used my sister's hot tools curling iron the other day because I was trying to hurry. We were going to take photos um, and I, I needed to curl my hair really quickly. So I used hers because it was already out and everything. And I was sitting there curling it and especially like on the clamp, I kept noticing because the barrel was not super long, I kept getting my hair like caught in it or I would have to curl my hair in two different sections because the barrel was not long enough to fit all of my hair on it so for me this is something that's very very important it says it has the infrared create smooth frizz free styles so i believe that's this little piece down here it says it heats in 60 seconds and it goes up to 410. oh this is really nice i like when they have this it says it has an auto shut off in 60 minutes so say you leave your house and you completely forget to turn off your curling iron within 60 minutes it will turn itself off, which is really, really nice because no one wants to leave their house and have to worry about having left the curling iron on or have to come back to turn it off. So that is really nice, which I mean, obviously I would try to turn it off on your own just for safeties, but it is something nice to have so that you know if something does happen, it will automatically shut off. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in because like I said, I've already done my heat protectant. I'm gonna brush through my hair and we'll kind of see i'll let you know if it only takes the 60 seconds to heat up so i just turned it on i have it set to 330 degrees i go between this and 310 degrees this little light on the back is glowing i think that's the infrared but also i'm not sure okay so it just stopped flashing so i'm assuming that means it's all heated up ready to go so i'm gonna sit that down and like i said kind of prep my hair so I used to section off my hair whenever I would curl it, but now I don't. I um, watched a video by, I think it's Jess for J Gold Salons. Um, I'll leave her Instagram page down below and she did like a tutorial real quick on curling your hair and I absolutely loved how she did it. So that's kind of how I do mine now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. I just sectioned my hair like in half. So I've got it sectioned on both sides of my head. Nothing all that interesting. I'm going to start here from the back kind of with a small piece. So I'm 
to clamp it in and roll up. I don't want to put my ends in right to begin with just because since that is the oldest part of your hair, you don't want to leave that on the curling iron quite as long because you don't want to, like you want to add the least amount of heat to that. And I know it's really in style right now that a lot of people are not curling the ends of their hair. So like for mine, it's still a little bit curled. So you can just take it and kind of bring it over it and that straightens it out. Let me see if y'all can see this curl. It looks really nice. Um, I like it. I don't do very large sections. Honestly, I probably could do larger, but I'm just going to keep it kind of small. And I don't go all the way up to my root just because I don't really like, I don't like a super tight curl. I just kind of like it almost more like a beachy wave. So in order to kind of get that look, I start a little bit lower down. Okay, so I like that curling method better. Let me show you what I did so y'all can see. This is how I usually do it with my wand, except I'm going to clamp the hair here so that y'all can see how to do it with the curling iron. So I've got my section. I kind of like to vary in between sizes, like some bigger, some larger, but I do curl all my pieces away from my face. So I'm going to hold my curling iron kind of upside down, clamp the hair, twist it around once, and then in my fingers, I'm going to wrap the rest of the hair. I do, I don't know if you can kind of tell how I'm doing it here. I wrap it and I change my fingers so that it stays flat the whole time. I don't like it coiled up. It, I mean, it looks fine. It just, it creates kind of a different shaped curl. And I like a bit more of a flatter curl. And I'm gonna let it sit here for a second in my hand to kind of cool down and then drop it. And I'm sure as you'll notice, as I'm going along doing these, the curls are very tight and it's very much like a ringlet. I will not keep it like this. I don't like having my hair like that. Um, just not really my style. So I do wait about five minutes after I've completely finished curling my whole head and I will then kind of flip my hair upside down and shake it out and that kind of loosens up my curls and as you can see I'm leaving out a little bit of ends and I will say something about this curling iron that I really like so far is it heats up my hair very very fast so you're not having to sit with your hair on the iron for like you know 10-15 seconds it's just going very quickly through and getting it all heated and nice and curled so I do like that a lot and I will say I don't use it as much for me but whenever I'm doing other people's hair I love which my wands do not have but this has the little like heat guard tip so you can help like wrap it up and hold on to it my curling wand does not have that from Bellamy so it's very easy to burn your hand which obviously none of us want to do that. And like I said, it's very helpful when you're doing somebody else's hair to kind of have that piece just to kind of help you twist up the wand bit. So I've got this little piece down here, which I'll come back and do. And this bang piece, I'm going to do a little bit differently than how I've done the other ones. I'm just going to wrap it. I'm not going to clamp it just because I know how I like my bangs to be done. And then I'm going to do this little piece. I'm not going to leave this on long at all because it is so thin. See, just like that. And we've already got a cute little curl. And like I've said, it looks crazy at the moment, but I will shake it all out so it's not in such tight little Shirley Temple ringlets. Okay, so we're on the last two pieces of my hair, kind of like my bang section. So I'm going to split it in two. Again, I'm going to wrap this one the same way as I've been doing the other sections. So I'm going to go in, clamp it, 
twist once and then wrap the rest of the remaining hair with my fingers. Hold about six seconds, leaving the ends out. And I just like to hold it for a few seconds just to tie it. Oh, it kind of gets its shape. And for this one, I don't like the way the end looks. As you can see, it's kind of curly. For some reason, my bang area does that more than the rest of my hair. So I'm just going to take it in the clamp and smooth over it. That way it's kind of straightened out and will blend a little bit better with the rest of my hair. For the bang section, like my last one right here, I'm going to do it similar to how I did the other one. I'm just going to wrap it around with my fingers as opposed to clamping it just because that's what works best for me. I like to angle this kind of in front of my face and more horizontal as opposed to holding it vertically. All right, and again with this one, I'm gonna straighten over it with the curling iron. Well, I'm going to let my hair sit here for a second. Um, I'll turn around so y'all can see. I hope y'all can see that, I don't know. Um, it's very wranglety, very tight. Um, I need to fix these two, these few little pieces right here. They're not very curled. Which I don't clamp them like I, I can't remember if I said that on the one I did on the other side, just because they're so thin and it's so quick and easy. As you can see, it took like two seconds to fix those. All right, so I'm letting my hair sit, just kind of cool down a little bit, do its thing, and then I will come back to you and let you know how the curls look whenever it comes time for me to go ahead and shake them out. All right, you guys, so my hair is cool. As you can see, very, very curly, so I don't think I can really get it in the shot, but pretty much just what I do is I flip my head over and right up against my scalp, I'll just kind of run my fingers through it like I don't actually run them through the curls because for me that breaks them up way too much and they're pretty much gone within seconds. So this is the method that works best for me. And I'm gonna do that real quick, just flip my head over, shake it out, and I'll let y'all see. All right, as you can see, they're softened up a bunch. I kind of just shake them out so that they, one, get a little bit more volume, and two, a little bit more relaxed. And for one last thing to get you a little extra volume, that works really well for me. I'll take my brush, which is a wet brush, and just very lightly will kind of brush up into the curls. And as you can see, that gives us a little bit of volume going on. So I'm gonna do that in both sides. You don't wanna do it too much because one, it's gonna pick out the curls. Two, it's gonna make your hair kind of knotted. So just a little bit. And then depending on how your hair holds, you can use a texturizing spray, which I really love to use, but I don't have any here. You could use a sea salt spray, which again is gonna give you a whole lot of volume and a bit more like texture and grit to your hair, which is great for doing like beachy waves like this. Or if you like doing, I particularly don't like doing this, but if it works for you, go right ahead, is hairspray. I, if you can find a really light, like texture hairspray, um, like a very soft hold, that's great. I don't have any here, or no, I don't think we have any right now, but I have used that before and I do like it, but if you have like a hard crunchy, one that makes your hair crunchy, definitely don't use that because that's just kind of, it's going to ruin the whole look. It just makes the curls look very like hard and crunchy and definitely not what you're going for because you want it very voluminous, very soft, kind of bedhead, like beach waves, like, like mermaid style hair is what we're going for. So as you can see here, the ends are a little bit straight, which I do like. And how I kept talking about pulling my hair forward when I was curling those front pieces, that kind of gives me this like curtain bang effect. 
which as you saw before, I definitely don't have bangs, but it gives that nice like little swoop going on and I do like that. I would definitely recommend this curling iron. I will leave a link to it down below. It was really great. I felt like it went very fast. I like the curls it produced. I like having that clamp because it is a bit easier to use as opposed to like a wand when you're trying to go through the ends and like straighten out your hair. And it does offer you a bit more control if that's something, like if you're new to curling your hair, I do find the clamp is easier to have than a wand with no clamp because it does kind of hold the hair in place and it gives you that extra control that if you're not super experienced with curling your hair yet, it is really nice to have that there. So I would definitely recommend it. You'll definitely be seeing these curls either in future videos or on my Instagram whenever I like go out and do photo shoots or anything. So yeah, I really like them. And I like how it keeps my bang area like more tightly curled. I like that and then the rest kind of loose and I will turn around so y'all can see what it looks like from the back. Very just like soft cascading waves, which again is totally my thing. I want to be full blown mermaid hair. That's the goal. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos by me, definitely check back every Saturday at 4 p.m. And then also if you want to see just like quick little snippets of what's going on in my day-to-day -day life, follow me on Instagram. It's at it's Tara Elizabeth with two underscores. And I always have it linked down in the bio. And like I said, I'll have this curling iron linked down there and everything. So yeah, I hope y'all all enjoyed and have a safe and happy weekend. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.